I wanted to make this video for the person that feels like an imposter when they're creating content for their audience. You know, imposter syndrome, when you create a piece of content that's probably very valuable, yet you either don't post it or you post it and immediately start to judge yourself. This is something that I struggle with all the time. I've taken like a year off from creating content for my audience. Um, and it's taken as it's toll on my business. I've done fairly well, but I haven't been getting attention from my marketplace, getting attention from the people that I want to serve. And it's not only hurting myself, but it's hurting those people that I do serve, right? I have a moral obligation to be in front of the people that I know that I can, will, and want to help. It's a moral obligation to help them reach even more people. As I stated in my last video, my purpose has become helping my clients' clients, right? I have uh, the ability to impact the people that my clients serve by getting them in front of even more people through my marketing strategies, right? And so the imposter syndrome, man, it, it really takes its toll on us, especially internally, right? We're, we're not believing in ourselves, we're judging ourselves the entire time, and most of the time, and tell me if I'm wrong, I'd love to know in the comments below, but most of the time, that imposter syndrome co comes from what we think the people that we love or the people that we call friends or the people that aren't even our friends that we grew up with, uh, what they think about us. And it, like, and I'll, uh, for me, when I post, I don't even really care about what people think that I don't know. It's just like, yeah, whatever. But when it's the people that I love and the people that are my friends and the people that you know used to be my friends, whatever, those are the people that I'm worried about the judgment of. Yet at the same time, you know, it's 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 wreaking havoc on my business, my internal life, the people that I serve. And so this this video is part of that. It's you know just pushing record creating a piece of valuable content and posting it and not giving a fuck what people think about me, right? Um, so if, if you're in that position, right, consider the fact that you have a moral obligation to get what it is that you do for people out in front, uh, out in the marketplace for those people so that you can serve them, so that you can serve the people that are in their environment. Right? If you are, you know, health and fitness, you're not just helping that one person, you know, lose weight. You're influencing the people that are around them in their lives to then want to make a change themselves, right? It's like a la like energy attracts like energy. We all have a, a, a connection with one another. We are all connected. We are all one. So when you change and you help that person change, they're helping other people change. Just like the person that taught you everything that you know, um, had they not been there, had they not overcome the imposter syndrome, you m m probably wouldn't have the skills you have today that you can offer to somebody else. So if you're in that position, <clears throat> just remember that, you know, there are people that need you. You need yourself the most, in my opinion, right? If you're judging yourself, if you're not believing in yourself, it's a drain on your energy, it's a drain on every other area of your life, right? If I can't be myself and not worry about what other people think of me, and I'm judging myself, I'm probably, you know, depressed, I'm probably, you know, eating food, addicted to substances, whatever the case may be, those other things are more open and you know uh, realistic in our environment when we don't believe in ourselves. We don't trust that the, the universe or God or whatever is going to uh, give us everything that we ask for, right? And in order to get the things that we ask for, we have to take the actions that, that follow the inspiration. So don't worry about this. Uh, you know, the imposter syndrome, you'll get over it. It's one of those things, I've been creating content for probably five years now on many different topics, health, spirituality, uh, not finances, but marketing, cryptocurrency, and it's always progressed. I've always gotten better, right? Um, so it's just a matter of practice. It's just a matter of putting yourself out there. It's just a matter of not caring what other people think of you when you post that content. 
So you're not an imposter, you have a purpose, you have a mission, and it's time to get out there and serve it.